Do they float? They float. You float! Oh, what are my parents gonna say? What's up my dudes, J Buck here, back again, and you know what, I've been busy with school, it's Thanksgiving break, I'm finally getting a break from things, and this room, being back home, this reminded me of all the movies I used to film, and record, and talk about, and you know what, last night, last night on TV, there was this one movie, it was another Stephen King movie, and I was like, dudes, this is a really long movie, it's a scary movie, it was like, three hours but like two movies like almost a series but like a smaller one and the movie was called it no 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 it is the name of it you know it, it's gonna be a little confusing when i'm talking about it referring to you know it but i'll only call it it when i'm talking about it if that makes sense so should you guys check out this terrifying i mean terrifying scary stephen king movie <laughs> let's find out Ow. So, no. Peter, in? so like it is another Stephen King property just like Pet Cemetery that I did like a few years ago that scared the crap out of me this one it even scared me more some might even see scared, scared the bejesus out of me but like this movie follows this group of kids calling themselves the losers hey man they made it up themselves but all of this weird stuff is going on in their town like supernatural stuff in Sherry Maine which Cherry Maine actually sounds like a good stripper's name but Cherry is haunted by it it is this thing that I don't even know how to describe it that's what it has going for it it's terrifying it's scary it is it is scary like I said but the thing is it's like this monster thing demon that's hanging out in the poopy sewers and the thing is that's what makes it so scary it's this character this clown character named Penny Wiz and I don't even know I think they call him Wiz because the the sewers that he's hanging out in but like Penny Wiz is the things of nightmares let me tell you that like if you just think a clown is scary this is the whole next level he's got these claws he's got these teeth penny Wiz is seriously might be one of the scariest thing stephen king has ever made up in one of these movies and again this is maybe the scariest clown i've ever seen on a movie like on, on a movie Like, all of the terrifying visuals and stuff that Penny Wiz turns into will scar you. But the reason, the reason Penny Wiz is so terrifying is because the guy that portrayed him in all of the makeup and stuff, I think he... Oh, uh, what was his name? Oh, he was in that he was in that board game movie Clue a few years back. Oh, dude, I wonder if I got that old VHS of that review of Clue. I'm getting off track. The guy's name is Rim Curry, and this guy is terrifying from the speech patterns the way he moves just him acting like a clown penny whiz rim curry did a fantastic job in this movie rim's job was to be scary and my god does rim do his job i do gotta give it to the film though because it is smart with all of the themes and stuff that they're dealing with because half the movie it's split up into two different parts so half the movie is dealing with all of these kids the other half is dealing with these adults but it's smart because they take all of these fears that kids are scared of, you know, like clowns and blood and the dark and cooties. But then in the second part where they're adults, all of the fears are different. It's what adults are scared of, you know, commitment, taxes, getting herpes, you know, like real adult fears. And that's what I like about this movie. It keeps that fear going through through the ages and the themes here are built up. I really, really appreciate that they did that. She-Hulk. Wake up. Marvel Superhero Cups. Only at Hardee's. But there were like a few things in it that I didn't really appreciate that it did in it. Because like, like there, there's these lights that are coming out of Penny Wiz's mouth. And then he also turns into this giant bug man at the end. No spoilers. But like, I feel like they had to, I mean, it's like a three hour movie. I think that they had to like pad in a bunch of stuff. Because I don't think, I don't think Stephen King wrote that long a book. It's probably like, 
what, 250 pages. So yeah, with like only 250 pages, maybe a little bit more, it's hard to get a full movie out of this. So like there's these lights that are hypnotizing people. I guess Penny Whiz can turn into all of these different things, but I didn't like that. I, I thought it would kind of strayed, strayed a bit from the central story in it because it, it is good, but then it gets crazy. Dudes, it is one of the scariest movies I've seen in a long time. Like, this movie has got everything. It's got kids, adults, fears, scary stuff, Penny Whiz, Rim Curry. He does a phenomenal job. But the one thing, like, I didn't really like the added stuff that they threw in there. But, man, you gotta, you gotta see this movie. If this is on TV again, because it was on TV last night, you gotta see this movie because it is, it is crazy. Like, a clown out of a drain. Anyways, my dudes, if you were able to see it, send in all of your comments and fan mail and stuff down to the address down below. Believe me, I love getting you guys' fan mail, and believe me, I need, I need to hear what you guys thought about it and Penny Wiz. But yeah, holiday is coming up, and I'm gonna be really busy with family stuff and finals and whatnot, but guys, stay tuned. I might just drop a movie review out of nowhere. I'll see you guys next time.